Hello folks, Dave Schulke here with the Twin Home Experts, here to answer the question that we get often. What do professionals use to kill mold? So let's get right to it. When it comes to mold removal, and wet walls or wet floors, you gotta make sure that you have a dehumidifier. This is the only piece of equipment that's going to extract the excess moisture from any type of substrate. That is a food source that you have to remove. The only way to remove it is you. This piece of machine is not gonna be blowing the mold spores. A lot of times we're seeing fan set up or air mover set up. That's a big no-no. First of all, it's not gonna do a good job uh, drying anything out, but secondly, it's gonna blow mold spores everywhere. So you wanna make sure that you get a dehumidifier. Set this up for about three to five days, preferably under a containment. It draws heat inside of the affected area and then it pulls the moisture out by discharging the moisture um, from the area. So again, dehumidifier is very critical if you do have wet areas. Another piece of great equipment that you must have when you want to remove mold from your home is HEPA vacuums. These are a must to pick, pick up all the particulates, the dust, the spores. When it comes to mold spores, you might want to consider using the Atrex Ergo backpack. This really does a good job with pulling out the mold spores because of the, the way the filtration works. It does a great job with rejuvenating the indoor air. So if you've got animals, cats, even bed bugs, this is a great option for you to consider. So you've gotta have this when it comes to removing that mold. So let's go ahead now and let's go over some products that we like to use. All right, folks, so one of the best treatments that you can do and a great way to not only remove mold, but also bacteria and viruses. Here at the Twin Home Experts, we love using our enzyme treatment. It's a very safe, but very, very effective in removing, again, bacteria, viruses, and mold. It looks just like this. The liquid enzyme gets poured inside of this container here. And then the switch for this particular model of a fogger is up here and you simply just turn it on. Come a little closer. how this releases a great amount of product that's going to get into every nook and cranny. So again, a great, great option to rejuvenate your indoor air, remove that mold. So let's go ahead now and show you some areas that you might want to consider when you're doing mold removal from your home. All right, folks, one of the most hidden areas that most people don't focus on is behind the refrigerator. Let's take a look at the potential mold issues and a lot of people get allergens from not keeping the refrigerator and behind the refrigerator clean. And again, this is going to require the HEPA vacuum. Let's take a look at this before we actually clean this area up. It always causes uh, some sort of indoor air quality is the uh, refrigerator. You, know, you can see we removed the refrigerator and you can see the amount of debris and dust that collects here. This is an area that's often missed. And again, if you have any type of uh, allergies or symptoms, possible mold, this could be coming from this area right here. All right, folks, so as a professional, one of the ways that we remove mold professionally is you always want to make sure that you build a proper sealed containment with a zipper. This is made of six mil plastic along with a 
sealed zipper door to allow you to come in and out. When there's mold inside of a wall, you want to make sure that you build your containment inside the containment. You want to make sure that you have proper equipment before you demo and bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. We've got proper Tyvek suits, proper HEPA mask. All right, folks, so as you just saw, we had proper Tyvek suits, a mask. So the next step is once you demo, bag, and dry this out properly, now you're ready, especially if there's a lot of mold on the wood. As you can see, this wood is basically brand new again. And the reason why is we've treated it with our enzyme as well as our combat solution. So it's basically a treatment that soaks into the wood substrates, kills the root of the mold, and uh, then you end up with a nice clean area. Again, it does require to cut, bag, seal everything up, and then haul it out of here through the um, uh, containment. So anyhow, folks just wanted to go ahead and give you that insight when it comes to removing the mold. Now I do get asked the question a lot, what if I scrub the mold? Um, again, it depends on what type of product that you use and if the leak is inside the wall, it's not gonna do you any good. If the moisture is just because of dew point, then the right product and a scrub is gonna be more than enough to remove that mold. But again, if the leak is inside the wall, then the scrubbing on the surface is not going to work. It definitely does need to get opened up, bagged, sealed, and hauled away from the job site. All right, so folks, if you do want to perform your own mold removal, uh, one of the products that you can use is Concrobium, or you can use RMR. And if you apply it to the affected area, such as your wood or drywall, you will get this effect here, a nice, clean surface. So, if you're wondering what products we use uh, for this type of application on wood, those are two products that we can recommend right, as well. Folks, so when it comes to crawl space mold removal, we really, really again like our enzyme treatment specifically made for crawl space as well as attics. Again, this is a very safe product, but very, very, very effective. Uh, the brand that we use is going to be from uh, US Enzymes. This has been tested. A lot of doctors are behind this product, have seen great, great results with patients who suffer from allergens as well as uh, mold. It's a great, great product. So you might want to consider doing an enzyme treatment versus a very high concentrated type bleach product. It's very toxic. So, all right, folks. So the next step after you perform all of that mold removal and you feel confident that you've got it knocked out, you always want to consider using a third-party environmentalist to come back out and do air testing, send it off to the lab, and make sure that everything that you've done or your professional has done gives you clearance. That's really the only way to verify and confirm if your home is mold-free. Well, folks, hopefully this helped give you the inside of what the mold professionals use. And if you like this, give us thumbs up and always hit that subscribe button. Thank you, folks. Thank you.